Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Travis for the Nemo in uh, Gundam Unicorn Colors uh, with the, uh, hundred, I think it's 170 millimeter cannon. Um, it works really well. It's, uh, it is a fairly long-range cannon. It stuns, does not cause heavy stagger, but the Nemo is still relatively fast. It still moves at a good uh, clip for a general, so... That makes it a really interesting, you know, basically an all-range combatant, in my opinion, because you can do pretty well with it uh, up close. You have to plant your feet to fire it, but not for very long. But at any rate, Travis, I hope uh, you like the colors. I saw a couple of different uh, color schemes that, uh, that appeared in Unicorn. I went with the uh, one that reminded me of the... Uh, Federation Forces, uh, Ground Forces colors, uh, that, like the uh, ground version of Jim Command and the uh, Federation version of Zaku F2 use. So, oops, got ambushed there by a Gundam Mark II. I am, I am running a 450 Nemo in a 500-point uh, uh, round. And let's see, managed to catch one of them with my Beam Saber swing, but not both. And that Mark II's nearly dead, unfortunately so am I. Uh, one of them got drawn off by my allies, and the other one I am going to go after. Caught it with a tackle, which did not even stun it, interestingly. But, uh, I think somebody else got the kill. That's fine. As long as it's out of my hair, because I'm already on low health. Tagged that person. Tried to catch them with the beam saber, but they got down the side. And now I'm just trying to get a good shot in without hitting my allies. Just, uh, just set my, uh, gun to reload, which got the, uh, got the kill. And, you know, sent my apologies, because I did not mean to stun two of us to do it. Camper is on me. But it ran off, which is good, because it would have killed me if it could follow up. But odds are very good my two teammates would have then killed it. So, you know, good thinking for sure. But it's back. And because it, it's got reinforcements now, but obviously it's probably going to get focused because it is, you know, more on health. Gan Aos there is trying to kill me. It's pro I think it's an Aos or is it a standard Gan? It's an Aos, because I see the beam baby. Somebody else got a shot in, so my crouching shot was enough to uh, kill it, and then, by some miracle, I lived long enough to be killed by the airstrike. Not a bad result, if I do say so myself. At least not for, you know, early in the round. We'll see what happens from here. Got a minor lead with five and a half minutes to go, 3,400 points. We've got some support fire available, so I'm going to take it, especially since the enemy is taking theirs. And, yeah, went for that one because I had a chance of catching two. I will probably catch none. That is, you know, how how these usually work. But, again, occasionally you get lucky, and uh, in that in that regard, I will have a uh, round from Maelstrom soon that should be fun to see. But, uh, yeah, did not catch anything with the airstrike, but we've managed to broaden our lead to 2,000 points. And now, again, just looking for an opportunity. There's that Mark II, and somebody's behind it, so... Trying to support without actually doing, uh, you know, without stunning my allies. And up there is a thing. A variety of thing, actually, so... Didn't quite get that Vulcan kill, but that Mark II is dead. And looking for new targets. There's that Mark... Uh, another Mark II. We've got at least two Mark IIs. Might be three. And a Ganeos, and a Camper, and I'm not sure if they have any long-range support or not, but Vulcan kill uh, for the win. Uh, that always feels so satisfying, just to be able to finish someone off with tick damage. I just love just being able to, you know, jab somebody to death in Street Fighter 2. But, ah, I had to pick Street Fighter 3 back up sometime. I was almost getting adequate at it. But it, I last played it on the PS3 just to give you an idea of how long ago that was, so I would probably get destroyed once again very easily. Not that I didn't for very frequently when I was playing it before, because, you know, there's people who've been playing that since, what, 1999? Yeah, so I am not particularly great at it. And... Again, uh, I don't want to play anything else, because I real, as I've mentioned before, I really only have room for one, you know, PvP game in my brain, and this is it. Because... Yeah, tried to play Battlefront, enjoyed it, but it made me terrible at this. I would try to hit the wrong buttons, and I would, you know, I I would just uh, drop. And managed to use my Vulcans to uh, kill that Mudrock as I went out. I knew it was going to get me. I had no health left after that airstrike, 
I, it had type advantage. I just held down the Vulcan button and hoped I could get enough shots through to kill it before I died. And by luck, yes. Three minutes left, 25... no, 2,500? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, 2,500... no, 1,500 point disparity. Um, and killed the camphor pilot and managed to jack a fairly healthy camphor. I was kind of expecting, uh, uh, kind of expecting it to have no health left, but, uh, um, lucked out and captured the waypoint and, or kept them from taking the waypoint. And now I've got 50 seconds to, uh, cause some mayhem with this thing before it dies. And if, I believe they get points for the mob, uh, for me, they might get points for me and the mobile suit. I think they changed how that worked a long time back. I don't steal these very often. But yeah, they at least get points for me and possibly me and the MS if they kill it. But if I if it explodes, whether I'm in it or not, and they don't kill it, I get the points. But uh, as it is, I will actually be able to get out in time. I've got about 15 seconds left, and I am headed for point B, because I'm figuring the best thing I can do is get my last little bit of damage in here, like this. Drop the Sturmfasts, hit the eject go over and take B, and then I'll be able to call my Nemo. And so, yeah, pretty decent little, uh, you know, side trip there in a camper. Kept an uh, enemy off the uh, field in their mobile suit for about a minute and a half, counting respawns and such, so. And now, with a good 4,000 point lead, we will get over to uh, the enemy and see what I can do to support the team. Yeah, I really do like this uh, cannon. As Salty Walty mentioned in his video about it, because it's under the arm, the firing angles are a little bit odd. There are times when you will not clear the top of an obstacle, especially on the, uh, man, that first map whose name I can't remember, but uh, Crash Site, I think it is, or Impact Site, yeah. Every so often, you will hit you will hit debris on there that you think you should have been able to shoot over because you're not dealing with a shoulder cannon or one of the other weapons, you're dealing with something that's under your arm. So it's a thing. Again, Aos on me. I'm calling for help because there's two of them on me, and that's, you know, bad news. Again, Aos' counter is extremely powerful. That had to be 4,500, and I am now stone dead. But I'm not going to have time to respawn in this or in any effective way, but, you know, did pretty good damage. Did the, uh, you know, was fairly effective. And yeah, I, I enjoy using the Nemo with this. It does even better in a 450 room, but it, I'd say I held my own fairly well in a 500, so... That's, uh... Pardon me if I still sound a little stuffed up. Still not sure if I got that cold or if I'm over that cold or if there was a cold involved or just, you know, sinus weather. It's that time of year. But yeah, decent round, and... Let's see. Nice, and let's see. What did we get? We got, okay, 3,175, that is pretty good. And sent praise to a couple of folks. Five kills and three deaths. I, I believe the camphor is counted amongst the kills. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back with some more Zeta Mobile suits uh, in the next couple days. So until then, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So, of course, the New Year's update hit early, so this week's banner will last until the usual update time on the 8th. So, yeah, uh, evening of the 8th, morning of the 9th is when it will update again. But I'm kind of curious to see where we go from Hy after Hyakushiki. It seems like it's too early for the Zeta Gundam, but what do I know?